Well, hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. This is Cervelo Caledonia road bike and in this episode I'm gonna give you the buyer's guide for this bike and then at the end I'm gonna tell you should you just go ahead and buy it or should you just consider this bike. So let's first answer the question who is this bike for? So you see Cervelo Caledonia platform is a classical example of endurance road bike. So it is a bit more relaxed geometry and the main focus of this bike is long days in the saddle. You can specifically also see that by this classical dropped seat stays. This was introduced many many years ago by Giant Bike and now you can see a lot of this design clues on many endurance road bikes. So I would say if you are in the market for a bit more relaxed geometry, if you are thinking about long days in the saddle, then definitely you should consider this uh, Cervelo Caledonia uh, road bike. As you can see on this uh, frame and the fork, there's not much aerodynamically optimized frame and the fork, which personally I like, because when you look at a lot of other road bikes today, they are all heavily, heavily aerodynamically optimized, but this is not the point of this bike. Also, keep in mind that this is not going to be the super stiff or super light uh, carbon frame and the fork, because again, this is all about smooth ride and long days in the saddle. Uh, specifically, in this episode, I want to focus on the Cervelo Caledonia 105 uh, road bike. So basically, the with the Shimano 105 built. The retail price of this bike is, at the moment of recording, 3,200 US dollars. So definitely not, not the cheap bike, but it is in this sweet spot of bike prices between 3,000 and 4,000 US dollars. So we can dive into the specifications of this bike and really see what do you get for your hard earned money. The first thing to mention when it comes to the paint schemes on this bike, you have only two paint schemes to choose from. One is this uh, very classical kind of black on black paint scheme or they call it gloss black. And then you have this other paint scheme which they call kind of oasis. I would call it a mix of metallic blue and green, which looks much, much more attractive. And personally, I would go with this uh, Oasis uh, paint scheme. Now let's talk about uh, the carbon frame and the fork on this uh, bike. So <clears throat> both of these items are from Cervelo, their own carbon fiber frames and forks. And also keep in mind that uh, Cervelo's uh, frames uh, come with a lifetime warranty. Of course, this uh, carbon fiber frame and fork have 12 millimeter through axles front and the back, uh, flat mount disc brakes, and also a bit of um, internal cable routing. And with this uh, frame, they're gonna be with uh, uh, press fit bottom bracket, uh, Shimano standard press fit uh, bottom bracket. When you look at the wheel set on this bike, so what do you get? So Cervelo has included Alex Rim Boondox wheel set, their Boondox 5D wheel set. So what are the highlights of this wheel set? So you see this is a very classical aluminium wheel set from Alex Rims. 24 spokes uh, both uh, front and the back. It is tubeless ready, but you will need to provide your own, you know, tubeless tape and the tubeless valve. This wheel set is 26 millimeters rim height and 21 millimeters uh, internal rim width. And also it comes with uh, Alex Rim's own hubs, classical aluminum hubs with uh, sealed cartridge bearings. 12 mm through axles, of course, and I wouldn't expect anything special from this wheel set. Total weight is eight, uh, 1830 grams. So, a pretty classical, decent wheel set from Alex Rims. And of course, in the future, if you are really interested, it's very easy to upgrade and buy something better, especially if you look at the wheel sets from, for example, DT Swiss or Bontrager or Zip. There's so much good choice uh, out there. This wheel set is wrapped in the Vittoria Zafiro Pro tires. Uh, the good thing here is that these are their G graphene tires with infused graphene inside. These are 30 mm tires, which is excellent. So you'll have a lot of air volume inside and a really good smooth uh, bike ride. And also in the future, I would definitely suggest you to keep a 30 mm tire or even go a bit higher with 32 mm tires because again, much more air volume and much more smoother ride. 
Now let's talk about the total group set on this bike. And in this case, you are getting a Shimano 105 mechanical group set. So this is a Shimano's R7000 11 speed uh, mechanical group set. Absolute workhorse from Shimano, excellent mechanical group set. I'm not expecting any problems with this and I absolutely have no complaints about this group set. So shifters, front mech and the rear mech, everything is Shimano 105 R7000 group set. Also crank set is the Shimano 105 crank set, 5236 uh, chain rings. And this is paired with uh, Shimano's HG601 chain. So this is a classical Shimano 105 level chain, 11 speed chain. And also the cassette on the bike, they didn't cut corners here because the cassette is also Shimano 105 cassette, 1134. So you have a huge uh, range of gears here because when you look at 1134 cassette and 5236 chain rings, absolutely no problems of climbing any steep mountains or spending a lot of time you know long days in the saddle when you destroy this chain uh, hg601 i would definitely suggest you to keep again the shimano chains shimano 105 level chain or shimano ultegra level chain they're going to work perfectly fine just because of the compatibility with other shimano parts now let's look at some smaller pieces on the bike like the stem and the handlebar so the handlebar and the stem are both aluminum pieces from Cervelo, which is perfectly fine, no complaints here. And also these are separate pieces, there is nothing uh, proprietary here. So it's very easy to <clears throat> adjust your position on the bike and also in the future, if you want to upgrade any of these pieces, for example you want to buy a carbon fiber handlebar, it's going to be super easy to replace because as I said there's nothing proprietary here, this is absolutely excellent. Now let's talk about the braking performance of this bike. So you are getting uh, Shimano's 105 hydraulic, uh, hydraulic disc brakes, front and the back, and these come with the 160 mm braking rotors front and the back, although these are uh, very basic Shimano's RT66 uh, braking rotors. So I would definitely advise you to upgrade these braking rotors once when you destroy these ones, and you can uh, save some money and buy yourself a Shimano Ultegra braking rotors, or you can even get yourself braking rotors from the Shimano's mountain bike world. For example, you can look at the Shimano SLX braking rotors or Shimano XT braking rotors. Keep the 160mm braking rotors just because you're gonna get a good heat dissipation and good stopping power. And also, if you buy, for example, Shimano Ultegra or Shimano XT braking rotors, they will come with the Shimano's Ice Tech, Ice Freezer technology, so a superb heat dissipation. Now let's uh, talk about the saddle and the seat post. So the saddle you have two choices. One is the Cervelo's own road saddle or you can choose Sella Italia X saddle. Personally I would go with the Sella Italia X saddle and uh, if you don't like this saddle you can always you know replace it with your preferred saddle because saddles are just a totally personal preference. One disappointing thing here on this bike is the seat post. So Cervelo has included 27.2 mm aluminum seat post. I think this is an absolute joke. I don't even know why bike manufacturers are dealing with aluminum seat posts anymore. This should have been a carbon fiber seat post because the main reason is that you want to soak up some of those small road bumps and the best way to do it is with a carbon fiber seat post. So this is an excellent point to negotiate the bike price because if you want to buy a good carbon seat post it's easily you know 150 us dollars 200 us dollars so that's a good negotiating point for this uh, bike also cervelo didn't mention here the total bike weight and i would expect this bike when you mount the pedals on it and in some kind of size uh, 56 or 58 i would expect it to be maybe 8.7 to 9 kilograms with the pedals Again, <clears throat> nothing special in the weight department, this is totally average with all other bikes I would expect it on the market, specifically if you look at like Giant Defy or Canyon Endurace, they should be on the same levels of the weight. So, in a summary, what is my advice to you about this uh, Cervelo Caledonia 105 bike, considering the retail price of 3200 US dollars? Should you just go ahead and buy it or should you just consider this bike? Well, I will say it like this, speak with your local Cervelo bike dealer, 
and tell them to give you a 200 US dollars discount because you need to buy a carbon fiber seat post or maybe they want to drop in a carbon fiber seat post for you then you can pay the 3200 US dollars price if not they have to give you a discount of 200 US dollars so if you can get this bike for 3000 US dollars then definitely I would suggest you go ahead and buy it if not I would just suggest you to consider it because uh, you can have a look at some of the giant Defy bikes, Canyon Endurance bikes, some of the Merida offerings. They are all in this sweet spot of about 3000 US dollars price range. So there's a lot of competition here. So I think this is going to be it for today. I hope you like what I'm doing. And if you do, please keep on watching, keep on liking. And as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers.